Ben Sprague started JV football in 2016, but his first season on the field was short-lived. It was the day of homecoming and we were playing, I think it was Duck Duck Goose, and apparently I pulled my groin. But the situation was worse than he thought. For the next few days, Ben was getting sick, and then his dad saw something. We realized he it was yellow from his neck to his, um, to his waist. They rushed him to the hospital. Doctors discovered Ben had a severe staph infection. It affected his heart, his lungs, his liver, his kidneys. And he needed open heart surgery. Doctors said his chance of survival was less than 10%, but he pulled through, recovering better than expected. The doctors, as unprofessional as they said it was, cried when they saw him. Just a few days after surgery, Ben was already talking about getting back on the field. But there was someone he wanted to meet. I think we were talking about it that day, about JJ, and I'm like, I just want to go to a game and meet him. He's talking about Houston Texans' JJ Watt, and with the help of the Make-A-Wish Foundation, he got his wish. Ben and his family made the trip to Houston to spend time with the football superstar. Just in that short period of time, you, you got to learn a lot about, about each other. Watt also had a staph infection, which almost ended his career. It gave Ben even more motivation to get back on the field. He thought the process would take years until he received this letter. Benjamin has been cleared to return to normal activities without athletic restrictions. Back in action in time for the first game of the season on September 1st. I tried not to cry, but then I started tearing up and then it just it all let go. But this year, he's got a new number, J.J. Watt's number, to remind him of how far he's come.